All right, good early afternoon, everybody. It's July 18th, Wednesday, July 18th. Uh, just shy of 1230. I can tell you that right now because I'm starving. I need to get back and get some lunch. All right, uh, I just got back. I went on a little two-day getaway. I left uh, Monday early afternoon. I got back late, late last night. Um, folks, you need to hear me, okay? If you're somewhat close by, actually, you don't even need to be close by to go to where I went to. I went up to Munising, Michigan. Munising, Michigan. Um, you want to talk about an adventure, a getaway, and some of the nicest sights you will ever see? And no, we're not talking about just some place to drive up to some local yokel. This is this is big business tourist stuff here. If you're into that kind of thing, um, we're talking major boat rides to the pictured rocks. Look it up. Um, lots of other boat rides you can take. There are uh, there are at least two dozen waterfalls. Waterfalls that are worth seeing with your own eyes. Lots of hiking. Um, the list goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Anyway, I got back late last night. I don't think I've been in on an actual let everything go vacation. Are you following me now? For probably six years, maybe seven. That was the greatest 48 hours I've had in a long time, folks. It was unbelievable. It was great. Look it up if you're looking to go somewhere. I met people from downstate Michigan there, Wisconsin, Minnesota, other places. There were people there from other countries. People from other countries go there for a getaway. Unbelievable. But I just got back. I'm glad to be back. Um, enough about vacationing. Vacation's over. Time for reality. Um... You are looking at the last of our first crop. First crop is over. This is one of those, uh, this, is a, this is actually split up into two. We're just gonna call it a field. This is one of those satellite fields that I talk about. My language might not be correct, but I call it a satellite field. Now, if you remember correctly, I was cutting hay on Sunday it's just through this pass right here. This is where I have to go to get home. Um, we, we have to clean this property up as well to have that field that I was cutting at on Sunday, which by the way is all bailed up. Dad bailed it the other day. And I actually am gonna take the next two hours before I start bailing this to clean up those round bales. So, it's a feel good day. Uh, the work is not over. Maybe tomorrow a, a small celebration of some sort. Maybe a nice little ride can be had to celebrate first crop being done. But uh, this is it. Uh, this is a little bit of a trickier field with some hills and some tight corners and everything else. So I, I brought out the, uh, this has been double windrowed. Now, yes, I do have a double windrow rake as well. But you know what? It just it was a lot easier to come out here with the New Holland rotary rake. Rake everything single on top of another windrow. And then when I was done, 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 turn everything back over to get a little better dry time. This stuff is dry to the bone, though. Really dry. Oh, but there's some uh, some weeds been kicked up. This is another field that suffered from last year's weather that did not get picked up. This as well was cut and had to be left. So there's a lot of. Uh, This stuff right here. This is last year's hay that was cut. The quality of this hay is still there. This is some very good grassy hay. The very good rich quality of this hay kind of got shot in the dark pretty bad. But it's all right. It has to be baled. Uh, between that one field and this here, I promise you there's going to be almost a total of uh, maybe 42, 45 round bales. Now that might not seem like a lot to a lot of people. That's 42 or 45 round bales that you don't have to buy in the event of a little catastrophe with weather. That's how I kind of try and look at things. That's a lot of money. So yeah, 
42, 45, very good uh, round bales are going to come off these uh, these two little properties. Everybody's happy and um, life is good. All right. Uh, I got some unfortunate news. Trust me, there's nobody out there that feels uh, crappier about it than me. I have decided the best decision to be made. No sorghum this week. I hate it, folks. I absolutely hate it. I was home this week to do sorghum. So it's breaking my heart. Our future weather forecast is pretty nasty. Uh, yeah, there's a camper in the background here. That The landowner, they obviously set a camper up in the summertime. Who wouldn't set one up there? I mean, look at this view. That's just beautiful. No sorghum. Friday is a nasty, nasty day of all day rain. Uh, they're not calling for anything real, real heavy. I hope not. But it's all day sprinkles and rain. I require for this sorghum, all my, uh, all my education that I got, including a lot of comments that were left where, is where I got some of my education as well for the sorghum, I want a healthy, solid two days of dry down time. Pure sun and um, wind. Well, that's not going to be the case. Today is Wednesday. I would have to bail it on Friday. And rain is starting right away Friday morning at 6 a.m. We're getting rain Saturday and Sunday. Now, to be honest with you, we really need it. So I'm not kicking rocks right now. But I am a little disappointed. I did want to have that first cutting of sorghum all baled and wrapped this week. But uh, it just it can't happen. So we're going to get there. Trust me, we're going to get there. It's just, it's not this week, folks. If I had to do things over again, the most famous words that there is. If I had to do things over again, I would have let some other stuff lay and I would have dropped that entire field Sunday night. We would have been bailing today. Uh, maybe even tomorrow. Bailing today, definitely, and um, wrapping this evening. I'm not kicking myself too hard. It is what it is. You make decisions for a reason, and uh, all is well. It's still there. It's not going anywhere. It's just going to grow a little bit, a little bit more, which we're talking probably another foot. The ultimate goal right now, and these are very loose words, is to, uh, you know, I got to hit the road Sunday morning. Um, the goal, if we don't get too much rain, the goal is to mow that whole thing, the whole field of sorghum down Wednesday night and um, bailing and wrapping Saturday of next week. So we'll see what happens. It's about all I have, folks. I'm just kind of checking in, saying hello. Uh, took a couple few days off. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, there was quite a few Diet Cokes involved as well, and just kind of let it all go. One of the nicest things up there is you have no choice with these whole with the whole phones and emails and all that other crap. Guess what? There's no service up there. Yeah, there's some Wi-Fi at the hotels and stuff like that, but um, it was a real nice getaway. Really happy about it. But now it's time to go back to farming here, and today's a good day because you are staring at the last of the first crop. I guess the sorghum is considered a first crop too, but you know what? We're not going to rain on my parade today. I'm going to be bailing this in about two hours, and first crop is over. What also starts is a little bit of custom work. Dad's actually, uh, I believe, bailing this afternoon, small squaring for a, uh, for a local farmer. And uh, the phone calls are gonna start like they always do, which is a good thing to uh, do a little custom square bailing and uh, probably even some round bailing, which is coming up. So all is well, folks. Talk to you sooner and later. Have a good day.